Hey guys, and welcome to a special edition of Mongoose Time. Today we're going to do our review of the NASA Apollo Saturn V rocket. Bum, bum, bum. It is huge. 1,969 pieces. Ages 14 and up. There's the moon. There's the rocket on the box. And of course, the finished rocket. There's the book. Huge book. Over 300 steps. 337 steps. One of the biggest projects we've ever done on Lego. And when he's done, and me, Mingus, I will be explaining in, in, in the stages and the, all the parts of the rocket. Alright, let's get right to it. Okay, so, these are the different stages and parts of the Saturn V rocket. First off, we need to look at the top. This part always got always off for me. The top. The capsule. System tapes. Anything happens. And the engines tricked down. Something broke off the rocket. This uh, this has boosters to go off the rocket. Okay. Next. It can also go off the rock. Just maybe. If an emergency calling happens and 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 the engine cuts off of of too soon. Um, and all the engines have to cut off and this goes back down to the ground. It's an emergency escape pod. Mm -hmm. Okay. And by the way, what I mean by, let me see, how do I put this back on? By ending cutoff mm. is this. It actually has a booster when I pick this up and unattach it from this. So what part are you holding right now? The third stage. Every stage has a booster. This part right here. <clears throat> okay, so let's go through all the different stages. Okay. So, so that's the third. Let's start with the beginning. Beginning. <clears throat> Pull. Okay. So put that stand up. Stand that one up a little bit so we can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the first stage, huh? Uh huh. This is how it launches. Ten. First. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Lift off. Okay. That's so that one launches. launches to get everything off of the ground. And then it goes to maybe like two minutes in the atmosphere. Uh huh. And then this is what? The second stage, and these are the boosters. So the second stage has five rockets. And at this point, it still has the third stage on it, too, right? Uh huh. Okay. And so this launches. And then what? It starts to do the roll? Yeah, it tilts. Tilts a little bit. Uh huh. So it can get like it's going out of the atmosphere. And then it separates into the third. Oh, we missed a piece on top. Third stage. Third stage. And that's just got one rocket, but it only needs one because at this point it's so far into the atmosphere that it just needs to get that final bit outside of the atmosphere. But. Yeah. We. Uh, oh, and then this part comes off? Yeah, when actually we were late 
to do that because mm -hmm. it actually comes off when this comes off. Okay. And so then this part is left. That's the third stage. And it goes up to space. Mm -hmm. And then this separates. The fairing. Uh huh. The third stage comes off. But this is once it gets into orbit? No. Right before. This is, uh, no. This fires up once it gets into orbit, and then this happens. Okay. So the fairing comes off. And then this. Oh no, what is that? We haven't seen this part yet. Yeah. This is what lands on the moon. What this. Are, what do they call it? The lunar module. Okay. And then this. Doesn't it go the other way? Like that? Yeah, this turns oh. around. Turns around. And connects to the lunar module. And that's the command module and the crew module? Is that what it's called? Yeah, but our... Service module and the uh -huh. crew module. No, this is also called command. Okay. And then <clears throat> the command pulls it out for mm -hmm. the last of the third stage. Okay. And then goes to orbit of the moon. Well, no, orbit of the Earth first. Yeah, and then moon. So that's kind of like the fourth stage? Yeah. Once it but, gets... But it's not called Saturn V stage something. Okay, so then what happens? So it's in orbit around the Earth. No, moon. Oh, so from the orbit of the Earth, it shoots off to the moon. Yeah. Okay. And then these, the attacks, mm -hmm. not this. These. Okay. And then this tilts with the rocketed mm -hmm. going to the surface of the moon. Mm hmm. And then, after it's born the moon, this is dead weight, so, oh, but this is not, so this the attack is, because the lunar module actually has two stages. Okay. So this the attack is, and fires up, so we dock, and there's actually only two people. Uh, 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 two people in here and one person in here, there's three astronauts. Okay. So, two went in here, one went in here, and and it docked back, and the astronaut in here went to command because the service detached. Uh huh. Either spashed into the moon or left in orbit. Okay. But they can still talk up, up this uh, Houston, and and because uh, they still have the command. Okay. And then finally goes back to Earth mm -hmm. orbit, and then since the command is is facing towards the moon, uh, and this is facing towards Earth. We, uh, 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 and this is facing towards the moon, this is facing towards Earth, but we want this to face towards Earth. Mm -hmm. So, we have to turn around, mm -hmm. and then these undock, and then this re-entries. It's really hot in re -entry. And the only part that's being protected is the bottom, the heat shield. Okay. So that means all the flames are coming up, up off the edge, and you can't let it get tilted too much, or else, else, else the fire will go down the wall of the... Uh, 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 of it, it and it will explode. Okay. So that's re-entry. Uh huh. 
Boom. So this is our review, and I'm putting it back together right now, too. So what the first thing I'll say about this Lego set is it doesn't always play well. It when always you're falls, it always falls apart. It has a lot of pieces that fall off pretty much every time you pick it up. So it almost feels like it's more of a piece to put on display than to actually play with. Look at this, as I'm even touching it, it's just falling apart. So luckily we've become really good at putting it back together. Yeah. We're expert rocket fixers now. Including I'm a giant, Including, I was, just, I was actually a scientist before, or, 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 or before, or, or we figured out how, how, uh, how to build it back together and be experts at it. So, if you can see in the camera, right there, there's four little grabby parts. To connect to these four grabby parts. parts. And that's what connects first stage to second stage. And it snaps in pretty good. And that's a pretty nice feeling. It goes in pretty well. And I'm getting actually better at putting this, attaching it. It's very solid, I have to say. Okay. It feels very solid in a lot of ways, except for the little parts that fall apart every time you touch mm -hmm. them. Sorry if you heard that. It's a... You had an alarm go off? Yeah. So, this is the top of the second stage, and the top of the second stage is one thing that falls apart <sighs> like crazy. I'm gonna try to put it back together real fast, and it falls apart as I put it back together. In case you were wondering why we, we haven't been doing a lot of videos. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, why haven't we been doing videos? It's because as we're not... Uh, 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 <sighs> it's because we're not making that many. Okay, so it's really frustrating sometimes. That's why my dad is frustrated. Okay, but you see these two little... Grippy parts. That, I'm gonna put this aside for now because I'm frustrated with it. Goes to these here. And this is the third stage. And the third stage has the emergency escape. And it has the disconnect here for the fairings. And inside the fairings, is the lunar module. Which actually lands on the moon. And that's all. The other pieces it comes with are these, which are a little cheap, I think. But this is supposed to hold the whole thing up. If you stretch them out, you can put the rocket down on top of these three things. It works, but it's probably the cheapest option than they could have done without just putting like bricks down and the other part that we don't really like are these fins there are four fins um can i see the first primary for a second the primary rocket please thank you so these fins actually go here. But we bent one of them and broke right, it. Right, and that's what I was going to tell them. So because this rocket is a little bit fragile and can, if you're not careful, fall, and what happened to ours is it got pushed, it fell on it like this and it snapped right here. So we just took them off. And it's safer. Yeah, it's safer to do it this way. Or 
construction site. But all in all, it's a pretty cool set. I have yeah. to say, I like it a lot. Here's the bottom view. And like I said, this is not, not the best surface, but these are supposed to hold this up like that. And it does go all the way to the end, so you can hold it all up. Um, What do you say about this set? You think it's a... What's your opinion? One to ten. Um, I would say five. Only a five? What do yeah. you think would make it a ten? If it was less fragile and more stable, and I would also wait for Lego to sell m a more rocket sets. Okay. Like this one. Okay. Well, he gives it a five. I'd have to give it seven or eight. I think it's pretty well put together. It's pretty well thought out. You can't see it, but there's a lot of little details in here. And piping. And the panels. And the flags that are not stickers. They're just like it's actually like, put on there. It's like stuff inside to make it like round. Yeah, and there's stuff inside that you can't really see that makes up the inside. And as you put it together, you're thinking, what is this all for? And then you just cover it up and it's gone. Um... I'd say it's a pretty nice set. I think we have a winner. Well, that's about it for this review of the NASA Apollo Saturn V, set number 21309. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, see you later. Mongoose. Ready? Mongoose time. <laughs>